everybody welcome back Ruben with Texas all water fishing I'm out here today with Eric we're out here <laughs> we're out here this morning we're gonna dodge a few raindrops we are I am back in the kayak today we have scatter showers right now before right I guess right when the sunrise is coming up water temps about 82.7 degrees so fairly warm that's kind of what we want that's what we're looking for this time of year before it gets too hot and the sun comes too overhead hopefully we'll be able to catch a few fish for you guys thanks for coming back don't forget to like subscribe comment and share and hopefully you catch me hooking up thanks <laughs> fish this mouth right here concentrate at this mouth you know whenever you have a couple bodies of water to connect it's always a good idea to cover that area it's always a good spot where you're gonna find you'll find a few predator fish all right so let me stop the video right here now this is an intersection not the one I'm particularly fishing but I just want to explain to you what I mean by when I fish it fishing the cross intersection now this is you so you would fish this bank right here come in in and I would cast all along this bank right here casting straight out all along in the middle and as I move through the intersection let me show you right here so this is your travel path I'll move through the intersection that's me I would cast, continue to cast all along the bank, all along and casting out and around, especially around the corners. A lot of flounder like to hang out around the corners. So as I go through the intersection or these cross waters as they meet, continue to cast along the bank, along the shoreline, around any kind of oyster reef and any kind of structure that might be out there. There we go. Flounder. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. Oh my goodness. How did I miss that net? He was in the, he was in the net and jumped out. Uh, fight and bite angler. So only a foot and a half here. He came up and smacked it. I was fishing for a trout. And he bounded it. Oh my goodness. I knew he was going to do that. Come back here. What's wrong with you? My goodness. You act a fool. It's too early. Man, you can make me lip you. It's too early, player. Watch, your, watch yourself. All that. And he is... Barely touching 16, just missed 16. You want him? Yeah. Little guy. Bite and fight angler. Let's see if we can get it out. Here we go. It's an awesome color right there. Trolling. Trolling behind me. Think so. He's not happy. <clears throat> ah, that's a nice speck. Whew. Trolling a trout. Did not think there'll be any trout in here just because it's so fresh, so. Got lucky trolling a trout. I really was trolling for maybe a red. little speckler got him right there in the side of the mouth I think he will keep DSL nice. 
something maybe we'll see I think maybe closer to 16 but yeah I think so nope well let me put you on it for real now 17 and a quarter Seventeen and a quarter, which I'm really surprised because the water's so fresh. Yeah. We haven't seen any trout, no trout action, no trout bites. It's until you got out here, but that was it. Yeah, that was it. How was at the landing? Oh! Lost it. Yeah, I saw him flash. I was swimming my bait back up, and I saw him flash at it, so I dropped my bait back down. He just took it and said, straight across. Came up and smashed it. And I was just wondering if there was trout in here. Got him on that bite and fight angler. Things gonna be a undersized. Yep. 13. 14 and a half, thereabout. Nice little guy. You know, we've been grinding today, so it's nice to nice to hook into somebody, but golly, he smashed it solid. There we go. Little guy. Whoop, he's gone. That was fun. Unexpected. Now real quick, this is typically how I fish a drain. I will target the entire area around the drain, not just the drain itself. Because a lot of times the predator fish will lay and wait and ambush the bait as it swims in around. And I cast through the drain, not just at the drain. And typically I try to target flounder first, so I will bounce the lure, cast through the drain and bounce the lure back to me. And I will cover the entire area. The entire shoreline, any kind of oysters, just casting and bouncing. And then I switch it up. I will just switch up my cadence. I will cast through the drain again and straight retrieve. Cast through the drain and straight retrieve all along the bank and the area like I just did. Ah, uh, that is a Texas slam. Just a little guy. Probably undersized, but still. Very nice to get a red in here today. Again fight and fight right in the corner of the mouth couldn't get any easier than that came right out too so if I would have changed my angle that hook would have came right out it's always important to keep it at the same angle which you set your hook don't want to change your angle too much I think he's gonna be under so we can get our handle on him grab him again in here let's see Yep, right at 19, just an inch short. Got a little mini slim today. I'll let him go. There he is. There he is. 
Love it. All right, so that's going to do it today. I ended up with a little mini slam. I caught a few slot fish. Um, caught a nice slot speck and a slot flounder. Red just barely missed it. Rounded it up for a slam. But I do appreciate each and every one of you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And actually, I am heading back out. I'm heading to the surf. Spend six hours this morning on the water in the kayak. Some friends of mine got into some specks off the seawall this morning. And I'm hoping that they're still there because I'm going to go round up the day and hopefully see that sunset. Saw the sunrise this morning on a kayak. And, this m and tonight I will see, and this evening, I will see a sunset from the seawall fishing those rock groins. So wish me luck. Keep you guys posted. Stay out, look out for the next Texas all-water fishing, and hopefully you'll catch me out there on the seawall hooking up.